Hi everyone, it's Tarrant. And Stella here from Beeple University. Thanks for joining us. Today we'll show you a quick how to play or overview for Midnight Murder Mysteries, the second edition. Stay tuned. If you find value from this video later, please hit the like button, subscribe to us, hit the bell, and leave your feedback in the comments. Now let's get to the game. Midnight Murder Mysteries Second Edition is a detective style mystery solving game set at sea on a cruise ship. It was designed by Alain Lutranger and published by Multi Faces Editions. The game plays two to five players competitively or cooperatively and plays solo in 60 to 90 minutes and is of medium complexity. This release is a revised version of the original 2017 game, released only in French. The second edition, in English and French, comes with a new look, new components, and more than 20 new cases to solve. Although the components you'll see live in this video are prototype and more closely match the 2017 release. Midnight Murder Mysteries will have a single all-in Kickstarter pledge with all cases available and exclusive bonus cases for backers. In Midnight Murder Mysteries, a passenger is found dead in the luxury suite of a cruise ship, and now it's up to the players, who are private detectives enjoying the cruise, to solve the mystery before the ship reaches port. The players will investigate to determine the three components of the murder. Who was the murderer? What was the motive? And how did the victim die? Each case begins with a short description of when and how the victim's body was found. The game is then played in rounds. Each begins with the drawing and resolving of an event card, as well as moving of the ship's purser to the appropriate zone, followed by each player taking a turn. On a turn, a player has three action points to spend, plus bonus actions for spending life boys from their possession. Action points may be spent to gain a life boy, effectively saving that action for later, to move your detective to an adjacent zone, to move the purser to an adjacent zone, or to investigate in a zone where your detective is and the purser is not. You have two options. You can investigate a location in your current zone, looking for clues or talking to the ship's staff, or you can talk to a witness in your zone asking them about their alibi, what they witnessed, or about their relationship to the victim, which could reveal a motive. Each line of investigation will refer the player to a separate numbered passage in the casebook. The action cost to investigate and what you do with the information depends on your game mode and your interpretation of the information's value. If you're playing competitively, your aim is to be the first one to solve the mystery, so you'll want to keep the best information for yourself. As such, it costs you one action point to read the passage, but then you must read that passage out loud for all opponents, or spend a second action point to keep it to yourself. But be wary, all players know which of the passages you've read, and so your choice, if made inelegantly, could still hint your enemies about what suspects or locations are most valuable. If you're playing cooperatively, then the team is working together to solve the mystery, and in this mode, all investigations will cost two action points, but all detectives in the same zone can read the same passage. Players who aren't in the zone get no information other than a single hand gesture from the active player. Thumbs up if they think the information's important, thumbs down if they think it's irrelevant, or hand wavy for anything in between. In both modes of play, it's then up to other detectives to seek out information that they think might be useful. You could seek out a useful location or suspect yourself, but it may be more efficient to extract that information from another detective who's already seen it. At the cost of two action points, plus one life boy exchanged between the players. Deduction sheets are provided so you can note down what you've learned, as well as which passages you and the other players have read and the choices or indications they made. 
To end your turn, you may move one suspect, excluding the most recently moved suspect, by up to two zones to either bring the suspect nearer your detective or push it further away from the others. Each event card adds a special benefit or restriction to the round or moves the ship through the sea. The game ends when the ship reaches port or when a player or the team decides to solve the case. Each player or the team writes down two hypotheses for the culprit, motive and MO. Reveal the solution and then earn points for your correct answers. In the competitive mode, the player with the highest score wins, and there are special bonuses or penalties given to a player who chooses to end the game early to solve. In the cooperative mode, the team aims to solve the mystery with the highest score possible. Midnight Murder Mysteries offers an intriguing mix between a classic detective mystery game, with the cases on the light to medium side of difficulty, and a genuine action point allowance challenge where players must give attention to efficiency. Particularly in the competitive game, players can move the purser and the suspects tactically around the ship, and choose whether or not to reveal information, which gives both direct opportunities to disrupt opponents and ample opportunity to misdirect and bluff opponents into wasting actions on irrelevant information, which is unique in the generally cooperative world of detective games but the game still offers a challenging competitive mode if you prefer to play it in that way. There is also a solo mode in which the player will compete against an automated purser whose timing and score is based on checking off a number of different passages rather than actively reading them and solving the mystery. And that's our quick how to play of Midnight Murder Mysteries, the second edition. Hopefully it's been useful. Once again, we are using a prototype copy of the game based on the original French release, and so the rules and components here are not final. And do check out the project page for the game, we'll put a link to that in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please help us by hitting the like button. Subscribe to us, you can also hit the maple in the corner to do so, and hit the bell icon so you'll know when we have new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board games journey. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.